Hey guys, this is Jason Matthew from Trinidad and Tobago. And today we're going to be doing something really cool, which is creating different voice effects using Audacity. And all you need to do this is a laptop with a built-in mic, Audacity installed, and you should look at my Audacity Basics video. There are links to how to download the program. There are links for the video all in the description below. And guys, we're going to have lots of fun doing this. So we're going to be doing the voices of Batman, a ghost, and a robot. Alright, so the first voice we're going to be doing is Batman. Now, yes, the program is going to manipulate your voice to sound like Batman, but you need to, to, to make it sound convincing enough to begin with. So what I'm saying is that you need to channel your inner Batman, okay? And we are doing this exercise side by side. So what I want you to do, if you know how to record your voice already, is record um, some words that Batman will say. It could be something as simple as I'm Batman. You could just record that in your own voice and, and, um, and then we'll move forward. But channel your inner Batman people, okay? So you just remember if you forgot, just click this record button, record a few words, and when you're finished, click stop. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do the same thing and then come back and we'll talk again. So pause the video and create your own Batman sentence and we'll get back to each other just now. Okay guys, so by now you should have something recorded and it should be looking like this. You have a single um, stereo audio track of the recording. Now let's clean this up a little bit. So let's um first do remove the background noise so you select a piece of audio where there is no voice you go under effect you click noise reduction get no noise profile okay then you select the entire audio track you go under effect noise reduction okay and you would have cleaned up all the background noise that's there Okay, next thing you want to do is remove some of the, the dead silence. So you highlight your audio track, so you highlight your waveform. So every time you see these um, patterns here, that's your voice. So you highlight that and then you, you, you click on this button here, which is going to remove um, the unselected areas. Okay, and then you use your time lapse um feature to move your audio track to the beginning now all of this was explained in the basics video so if you if some of it is going too fast for you check out the basics video okay now once we have that the it's easy you know you just um edit and duplicate so now you have a copy of the audio track um we're going to start working on, on, on one of them. So you select the first audio track. So you just double click on the first audio track. And basically, to get this Batman voice, you are manipulating pitch. Now, each of us has a unique voice. So my manipulation may not work for you. So you need to do a little trial and error. So I have done it already. And I think for my first pitch, and you're not interfering with anything up here. You're going here and you're bringing it down. For me, it was about negative 16 for the first track. Again, you will need to tweak as you know as goes. Click OK. Then you go to your second track. Okay. You go under effect. Alright. Change pitch. And what happens is that Audacity re remembers what um, what percentage change you did the last time. So the last time I did around minus 16. Now I'm going to around minus 20. Now what works best is that whatever value you chose for the top one, you should go like four lower for the second one. So I had minus 16 for the one at the top. Do a pitch of minus 20 at the bottom. And... That's it, basically. And let's press play and see what we have. Did you get it? The rock. 
Tell me, do you bleed? You will. Well, here I am. I'm Batman. And there you go. So give it a try. Again, it will need some tweaking, but you're going to get it. Okay. Um, so you, according to your voice, you're going to ch change any pitch, but keep the, the differences in pitch um, of the top one and, his, and the bottom one by four, and, and eventually you'll get it. Okay. So now we're going to be doing the ghost one. So again, uh, pause the video. And what I want you all to do um, after you pause the video is that just again create just a few words uh, that a ghost would say that you're gonna know, have some fun with it. And then what I want you to do is remove the background noise, crop the audio track, and then we will look at the different features together. So I'm gonna do it on my end, you do it on your end, and we'll we'll get back again. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, so all I've done is that I've recorded my sentence as best as I can as a ghost voice, I guess. And I removed the background noise, I cropped my audio track, and I used the time lapse tool to bring it to the start. So that's all I've done, and that's where you should be at as well. And always guys, before you start manipulating your audio track, just make sure it sounds like what it's supposed to, you know? Um, so I'm just going to check mine now and so you could hear what it is before we add any effects. I see dead people everywhere. So that's how it sounds without any effects. So the first thing we would do is that we will duplicate the file. So edit, duplicate, okay. And now we're going to dub, we're going to double click the first audio track. So you're going to select the first audio track. And again, we're going under effect. But this time we're going to use reverb. So you click on reverb, all right? You leave all these things as is, and then you go under manage factory presets. And you could you could experiment with all of these guys here. But I find for the ghost effect, church hall, you know, gives a good one. And you click OK. So you have that there. Um, and then below. You now click the audio track that's below, you double click that one. You go under effect, and for me, I work with a, a change of pitch of about negative 16, but again, it all depends on your voice, so you need to tweak that a little. And you get this. Let's press play and see what we have. I see dead people everywhere. Oh, so pretty cool, eh? I see dead people everywhere. Nice. And, you know, once you're finished and you're happy with it, always remember, ed, um, file, export audio, and then you can save it as a WAV file, and you can play it on any, any system that you like. So we have one more sound, one more voice, and that's the robot. So again, you know, uh, open up a new Audacity project and record a sentence that a robot would, that, that you think a robot would say. Uh, remove the background noise, crop it, and then we will look at what effects to apply. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, so by now you would have created your little, uh, what you want your robot to say. So again, you always press play to make sure it sounds okay. So that I'm gonna press Warning. play. Warning, enemy squad detected. Warning, enemy squad detected. Warning, enemy squad detected. So that's without any effects applied. So the first thing you want to do is duplicate the track. So you have two. So you have a copy of the track, and then you're gonna select the first track, and you go under effect. And this time we're going to be using the echo feature. And well, mine is already set at what I want it to be, uh, 0 0.04 delay and uh, decay of 0 0.6. Um, your numbers should look different. I, my numbers are this because I've, I've done the same thing before. So, so the, these values are, are pretty standard. So you can use 0 0.04 and 0 0.6. 
that should work okay and then you want to go to the bottom audio track click double click that one and you're going to change your pitch for that one but unlike the others where you were going low this one you want to go high so you want to go like about negative 10 and again with all these features because all of our voices are unique you need to tweak them differently to get the effect but this this tends to work for me okay so let's see what we have warning enemy squad detected warning enemy squad detected warning enemy squad detected and again once you're finished and you're happy with your file uh you just go on a file export audio and it will be exported as a WAV file or mp3 whichever file format you like if you're not finished with your project and you want to come back to it well then you're going to save your project or save your project as so it, it wouldn't be saved as a playable audio file it'll be saved as a audacity project so you're going to see it as a dot aup file okay so just to recap the different voices that we have i'm just going to play the ones that i have here so we have we have batman did you get it the rock tell me do you bleed you will well here i am i'm batman sorry about the last movie we have ghost i see dead people everywhere and finally our lovable robot warning enemy squad detected so you see basically uh with these voices all you're doing is that you're going on the effect and for these you will you were changing the the pitch as well as you will use an echo you're using reverb so what i would tell you to do is um you know keep experimenting on the effects and seeing how it changes the the song of your voice and you're going to come up with some pretty cool things i'm sure and don't forget if when you do please share them in the comment section. Also, check online. There are loads of tutorials online where people are doing some really awesome things. So, to so go explore and create and don't forget to share whatever you come up with. So guys, as usual, it was a blast. I hope you learned something. Um, you know, and, and let me know. Let me know what's going on. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.